Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, viewers from wherever you're watching us from. It's Wema Sports here, as usual, your host, Jermaine Odiambo. And today, we are going to have a really, really great, great, great session. We are talking about physical therapy and how it, part, it impacts sports development. And so, zingine tunachukua ikitu upuzi, lakini naona wanasemaje. Ni kitu ya maana sana. <laughs> <laughs> Ni kitu ya maana sana and our guest today will talk to you more about this uh, as as we continue and we are here at Osoita Lodge indeed where guests become family and we there are really 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 great deals for you and apart from that there are lots of happy hours involved if you like to sip something come get something here right here there are really great happy hours they really have great great meals african meals indian meals and also uh ethiopian meals so don't miss out you most welcome here at also Ita lodge where indeed guests guests become family and uh just to kick us off as we start i uh, want to introduce to you something new that you're having on the market courtesy of hector pay hector pay is 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 is, is a platform where you can receive money from abroad uh, I know, I know Kenya things are tough, so zingine wana pigiole mtu wako majue ni aje nyoko lema ze. Ama you have an organization uh, where you receive funds from the US. You can get to receive funds from the US from other, whichever country abroad, UK, through Heptapay, where it's quick, cheap, and reliable. You can get to use uh, accepted payment options, MasterCard, Visa, and American Express. All are accepted with Heptapay. Uh, get to see what they have in their social media sites and also their website that we shall be having streaming down there. And uh, countries that we have Heptapay live in Africa, this is Rwanda, Kenya, DRC, Congo, and Uganda. And not only that, we are continuing to grow and Burundi coming in soon. So stay tuned, stay tuned, Burundians. We have to get you in plugged in to help to pay as well so uh, just to kick us off today we are talking about physiotherapy and it's important in sports and also sports development and without further ado viewers help me welcome our very own well abled guest caroline njani karibu asante sana yes yeah. so caroline is a physiotherapy professional she has five years experience uh, in uh, respiratory rehabilitation, cardiovascular rehabilitation, ICU special rehabilitation, sports physiotherapy, and um, <laughs> 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 Muscular skeleton. I tell you, English is not our mouth, but we learn each new day, and the nervous system, uh, all that she does, and uh, how has it been so far? It's been good. Actually, mm -hmm. physiotherapy is uh, the best. It's let me just put it: it's the best course you'll ever do. Yeah, yeah. So if if you're looking to learn or desire to want to do physiotherapy, if you have children, if you have uh, uh, nieces, nephews, and uh, just let her co contact Caroline. I don't know if I'm putting you on the spot, but. Uh, <laughs> Let her contact Caroline and get to know more about physiotherapy and just her experience that she has so far. So viewers have been talking about sports development and how it starts and uh, just the same way as uh, the normal process where we start at, as young ones and get to grow and, and grow in the sport and uh, all these stages we have to maintain uh, the numbers of people who start the uh, people who are the middle and people who get to elite that's how we get to grow sports and one important part of sports is physical therapy and uh, why why do you think this is of importance physiotherapy yes yes okay physiotherapy is a uh, actually is a rehabilitation of any physical injury or deformity or disease mm -hmm. so uh, after a patient who has all these problems uh, has been intervened by other medical professionals they refer them to us so that mm -hmm. we can bring that patient to normal to his normal physical state okay yeah 
so physical state if you are talking about basketball kidogo magoti nimeumia surgery pap so if i was jumping how many feet 12 feet <laughs> you can rehabilitate me to jump 12 feet back or even more it depends with depends the injury, the injury yeah. okay yeah. okay so uh just to kick us off i know i know i know uh you have interest in sports Yeah. Maybe if you can tell viewers also that what you do apart from mm-hmm. uh sitting behind that desk and uh, also just working on different patients. Okay, personally I'm an athlete. I play basketball. Uh I play for the the Swish Women Basketball Club that is located in Nakuru County. And uh so far it's in the league division so I can say I'm I'm an active athlete. Yeah. Yeah so apart from that what else do you do? <laughs> Leisure time. <laughs> Leisure time. <laughs> okay, I'm a mother so most of uh, my leisure time I spend with my kid. Mhm. Yeah. Uh boy, girl. He's a boy. Uh playing basketball as well or ya mependa futa. Ah, ni shanza kumfunza Euro step. Oh, it's a good boy, it's a good thing. Too early, yeah. Nice, nice, <laughs> yeah. nice, nice. You're looking forward to see him play. Definitely, I know he'll be a great player Hopefully. because uh, he's is if he's interested in basketball, he's already in a safe space with the Swiss basketball team. Yeah. And and all your coaching staff and 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 uh, those who run the team. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sure he has a bright future. I can't wait. He does. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. On God. On God. On God. <laughs> Definitely God will make it work. Yeah. 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 So um how how much has uh you mentioned you just gave us maybe a brief on what phys- physiotherapy is. Mm-hmm. Um who who is physiotherapy made for? Okay, uh physiotherapy is is just like any other medical professional mm-hmm. uh you, you find out many people like take physiotherapy very lightly yeah. like they say a uh, physio ni mtu wa massage or anything but no physio is a big cause let mm-hmm. me put it like like, like that is a big cause it's a medical cause like any other mm-hmm. the only difference comes uh because physiotherapy uses physical methods to mm-hmm. treat the patient Mm-hmm. get yeah yeah rather than using drugs or surgery mm-hmm. yeah so that's where the difference come between maybe a physiotherapy and a clinical officer but mm-hmm. both of them are both medical professionals okay yeah so so at what point uh, does uh, a sports athlete or athlete needs to um, get to engage with a with a physiotherapy uh, a physiotherapy should always be there even in sports even mm-hmm. when no players have injuries because mm-hmm. a physiotherapy take a big role during the sports mm-hmm. because uh if the if uh, if the player has an injury the mm-hmm. physiotherapy will help him uh or her for to give her first aid and mm-hmm. everything if the physiotherapy is not in that position he can refer the patient to the hospital Mm-hmm. maybe for further investigation x-ray mm-hmm. all that stuff yeah then later afterwards if uh, need be the other medical professional will refer this patient mm-hmm. back to the physiotherapy mm-hmm. yeah okay if he needs to rehabilitate but for minor injuries uh let's say for example a, a, a player has a bruise maybe maybe on the knee or on the hip or on the arm mm-hmm. you can go ice mm-hmm. do your own simple massage a, apply uh, painkillers mm-hmm. yeah such things so so yeah um you said ice i thought of uh we just as ngine vitu ni kienyeji kienyeji huko chini so uh, at what point do you ice uh at what point does one uh use uh, hot water mm-hmm. for what kind of injuries does one ice mm-hmm. at, uh, for what kind of in- injuries does one use hot water mm-hmm. yeah uh, okay uh hot water is uh, mostly used or commonly used when the injury is a chronic one mm-hmm. a hot water but for ice is used for acute injuries maybe immediately mm-hmm. after after a person has fell mm-hmm. 
and uh, he is uh, maybe swollen, let's say for example an elbow is swollen or anything like that, mm -hmm. you just ice immediately mm -hmm. or maybe days later. Okay. For an acute injury, it heals for maybe a week or two. Mm -hmm. it, should be, it should be healed already. Healed already. Yeah. But mm -hmm. for a chronic injury, mm -hmm. that will take a longer time. Mm -hmm. Maybe from six months, 12 months, all depends on, mm -hmm. the, on the severity of the injury. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So, so um, you mentioned ice, there is also... What are some of these items mm -hmm. that... Um, teams mm -hmm. or clubs, mm -hmm. uh, basic items that they need to have in the first aid kit mm -hmm. uh, when they're out for a game or when they're out uh, during a training session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, they should have a, a deep heat. Mm -hmm. That's for a spraying. Uh, maybe have a sprained ankle mm -hmm. or, uh, or a knee, a sprained knee. Mm -hmm. Deep freeze or deep heat. Mm -hmm. Also, you should have a cotton wool mm -hmm. that is for maybe if, uh, you ha the, the player is bleeding or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Also, you, ha you should have a gauze. Mm -hmm. Also, you should have also uh, something that's called iodine. Mm -hmm. That is for used for it's like used for drying. If the if the patient is uh, have a wound. Mm -hmm. Now the, the iodine is used to dry that wound. Yeah. And uh, among its other things, those okay. just are just a, a few. Okay. Yeah. So deep heat and deep freeze. Mm -hmm. uh, deep freeze is used for what? And mm -hmm. deep heat is used for what? Because people get to mix these things up <laughs> at times. Okay, both uh, work. Both work the, the same. same. Yeah. Okay. They work to reduce pain. Both of them. Both of them. Okay. Yeah. So these people just uh, gave us two products that do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, they, it all depends with the... Like deep freeze mm -hmm. is used to maybe to... It's, it's cold. It's a cold yeah. freeze. Yeah. It helps numb the pain. But uh, deep heat, mm -hmm. it helps to, to open up. Let me see, open up or dilate the vessels. Okay. Gotcha. The blood vessels. Gotcha. Yeah. So both both are used to treat the same thing. Okay. In that kind of man. Gotcha. <laughs> so so is uh, sports recovery related to physiotherapy? Sorry? Sports recovery. Uh -huh. Do they go hand in hand with the physiotherapy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, from from a medical perspective, maybe if you can just tell us what sports recovery is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, sports recovery is uh, uh, sports recovery is recovering from injuries that occurred during sports mm -hmm. that occurred maybe when the the person is playing mm -hmm. and you got the injury. Okay. Now you are recovering from that. It's just as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, how, how much, uh, how important is sports recovery to an athlete? Uh, it's very important mm -hmm. and it's not just important for uh, for the, the patient or the player to go back to the sport. It's mm -hmm. also important for him to do other things or other functional things, mm -hmm. health-wise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, sports recovery equipment versus physiotherapy sessions, mm -hmm. uh, because technology has evolved. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some uh, uh, f sports recovery equipment mm -hmm. that play a role of a mm -hmm. physiotherapist. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's this debate mm -hmm. in, 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 the, in the sports medical world mm -hmm. where uh, f some physios are feeling that uh, these machines are taking our jobs mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some, some, some physios are saying no, no, it's, they're good and uh, it makes their work easier. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's your thoughts on, on that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, they work hand in hand. Actually, uh -huh. I, I love the, the machines. Mm -hmm. because they help a lot mm -hmm. 
Because if you have many patients and mm-hmm. you don't have machines, you just have the arms, mm-hmm. you're going to get tired a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> Zinadurika, yeah. hand in hand. Yeah. They go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah. So, there are many machines that we use mm-hmm. for physio. Uh, most are laser mas- machines. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, uh, there is one that is called uh, the microwave diathermy. Mm-hmm. The other one is called the shortwave diathermy. Mm-hmm. There is a, a tense machine that is uh, for stimulating nerves. Mm-hmm. If maybe the player has nerve problem. Maybe the nerve, uh, when he was playing and, and he got the injury, the nerves were damaged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was all the, the, the massager. Mm-hmm. Yani, there are so many. I, yeah, I can't complete the list. There are mm-hmm. so many. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, in, 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 in bracing the uh, significance or importance of uh, technology and how much technology has grown, mm-hmm. uh, not only in sports but also in your area of, of, of expertise, mm-hmm. um, physiotherapy and data science, mm-hmm. and how, how, how can the two combine to work together? Okay, um, they both work together in uh, you know when maybe the the patient has a uh, maybe the muscle problems or the joints. Mm-hmm. You find most patients Google symptoms. Mm-hmm. So you find out they are they are they are, they are going to internet and googling their symptoms and they are coming to the physiotherapist and asking maybe when you're treating them they are asking mm. why didn't you use this I read mm. about I read. this and they are, <laughs> yeah adi unashanga ukumwambia si basi kwenye umetoa hiyo data enda tu umwambie hiyo daktari aku treat okay but uh, I prefer mm-hmm. the patient coming to uh, to the doctor him, uh, himself because the, doc- mm-hmm. the doctor know more than, mm-hmm. the, than the Google than yeah. the Google things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, there, there, there are certain basic routines that uh, general sports athletes need to do daily mm-hmm. uh, to stay healthy, to be able to play effectively and efficiently. Mm-hmm. Um, as as a physiotherapist. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you mind just telling us more about such things maybe uh, an athlete needs to do daily uh, to be able to be at their best, uh, to be able to avoid injuries, uh, to be able to have their body healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, I think the, the, the players have, have their own routines to do. Mm-hmm. What they need a physiotherapy to direct them is uh, the intensity of the exercises and the timing of them. Mm-hmm. They can do their routines the way they, they maybe they are used to, the planks, mm-hmm. the jogging, mm-hmm. uh, the stretches, yeah. weightlifting, all yeah. those. Mm-hmm. They can do them how they used to. But where the physiotherapist come in, mm-hmm. maybe when if, if the patient especially has a, a, an injury, yeah the physiotherapy comes in to help him to not intensify that exercise mm-hmm. to above level yeah, yeah. Yes, you overdo, you get. Yeah, yeah yeah to avoid the overuse of that injury yeah yeah so there are two things there's overdo mm-hmm. and there's intensity mm-hmm. um uh, at at what point you know cause cause uh, at times coaches think ah if i push you hard mm-hmm. No pain, no gain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is, yeah. is, is, is that something that really affects an athlete or at times pain is harm? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what do you think about If the patient is, uh, has no injury, mm-hmm. he can do whatever he wants. Mm-hmm. What he needs to do is, uh, is, uh, is do safe play. Mm-hmm. Or let me put it like... Uh, <laughs> You say that's your overdo, mm, and he mm. he's not to do he's not supposed to do like above the above the, the normal gauge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What what can this normal gauge be? <laughs> <laughs> or how do you assess a normal gauge? <laughs> uh, as as a, as a physiotherapist, how do you assess a normal gauge? It, it like depends. for example, uh-huh. in basketball, uh, maybe um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh-huh. Um, uh, let's say I'm having a team. Mm-hmm. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, now I keep busy, so I'm making mm-hmm. them do runs and runs and mm-hmm. runs and runs and condition and they're running with the ball. Mm-hmm. 
Then uh, on Thursday, mm -hmm. we still do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Saturday, we have two games. Mm -hmm. uh, can such workouts lead to um, creating an environment for an injury? If an athlete overworks, for example, yeah, you know, uh, we are made different. Mm -hmm. There are those people who have uh, very strong muscles, other people have weak muscles. Mm -hmm. e everyone is different. So mm -hmm. um, maybe if the person is not able to do what the other person can, I think they can just chill out mm -hmm. a little bit. Si lazima afanye kenye wimu ingine anafanya. Uh, there, there are these things that we call uh, muscle twitches. Yeah. There's the fast twitch and there, are the, the, there's the slow twitch. Mm -hmm. Let me say, like for example, there's a there's a bolt and Kipchoge. Mm -hmm. Kipchoge can't run like bolt mm -hmm. because he's used to his muscle is made for long distances. Long distance, which yeah. is the slow twitch. Yeah, that is the slow twitch. Mm -hmm. But bolt can run like he can sprint. Mm -hmm like in a matter of seconds you get mm -hmm. bolt can't run like kipchoge he can't run for for long distance mm -hmm. yeah that, now that's what i mean okay yeah so so um let's say for basketball we need fast twitch or slow twitch fast twitch fast twitch <laughs> same as rugby rugby also depends on whether it's sevens or fifteens yeah Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tena you find out that rugby wana kuanga watu muscular. Mm -hmm. And that's what you find with Bolt. Bolt mm -hmm. ako muscular. muscular. Yeah, his mm -hmm. his his is fast muscle twitch. Mm -hmm. You get. And so, Kipchoge is slim. Mm -hmm. You get? He's yeah. a is the slow twitch type. Yeah. Yeah. So so now that means um when when basketballers or, or athletes involved with fast twitch sports mm -hmm. they need to um, create their workouts around uh, training the fast twitch muscles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's you see now. That's an interesting perspective, viewers, that we miss uh, when we are working out, and uh, maybe our coaches are not aware of this. You talked of basic routines. We've already done stretches. Are there specific stretches? Mm -hmm. Athletes need to do. There are things we read about. You know, there's Google. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that picture to tell you. Hey, Google. Now that Google is on your page, and uh, we read a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So, so um, at times, as athletes, we get to read and study that. Oh, we need to stretch mm -hmm. in the morning and stretch in the evening, mm -hmm. and maybe. Uh, they, they are different kind of stretches, speaking of stretches, mm -hmm. but before I get to different kind of stretches, mm -hmm. um, uh, that question, I, I need you to maybe advise us mm -hmm. uh, if, for those who want to know such, mm -hmm. which is the right way to stretch? Okay, um, it depends the, uh, with the place that you're stretching, mm -hmm. maybe if you're stretching the, the knees, Mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the ankles mm -hmm. or the hips or mm -hmm. the the arms mm -hmm. maybe i show you <laughs> yeah yeah we will stay tuned stay tuned very soon we are coming we are going to show you on the best ways of doing stretches mm -hmm. and all that immediately we are done with the uh, this chair and we need to move it back so that we have some space you see as you see jermaine is big enough so kidogo up you'll be seeing the camera toppled over <laughs> So, 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 so we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. And now uh, the type of stretches. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also read something on dynamic stretches mm -hmm. and static stretches. Mm -hmm. And uh, dynamic stretches, uh, I read that uh, um, uh, it needs to come as you start training. Mm -hmm. Then now static stretches mm -hmm. needs to come after training. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if, if that's something that maybe you are aware of. Yeah. Uh, if you can shed more light because I'm not a professional. Mm -hmm. I'm just a layman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. Yeah. When you do so you're right. Dynamic mm -hmm. stretches are, they are used, uh, you use them when you're before the training. Mm -hmm. In New Zealand, maybe you're a jog. Mm -hmm. Yani in short, 
you're warming yeah. you're, you're warming, warm, up, you're warming up mm-hmm. like you're preparing your body warming. for something intense mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. then the static ones you're yeah. warming down mm-hmm. you get yeah. you're stretching so that miliako is shikane after after that in, intense workout. workout yeah so what, what what happens when someone does opposite it's just that the dynamic one, ones they are mm-hmm. more inten- intense but mm-hmm. the static ones you do them slower uh, yeah. just to cool and yeah, calm down to cool and calm down okay yeah. okay so it's preferred viewers for you to do dynamic stretches before a workout and static stretches after after workout after workouts and uh, in regards to matter safety how proactive can athletes be to avoid unnecessary injuries um stretches let me say yeah the mm-hmm. warm up, the warm ups and the 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 warm downs mm-hmm. yeah so so um how uh, I, i also read and also we've been told mm-hmm. uh, with different people you know in kenya we have these people who are local physiotherapists mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> 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 uh-huh. and the agenda for how long should i for how long should an athlete stretch maybe let's say uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes mm-hmm. yeah both so after and before yeah okay time before 20 minutes 15 yeah. minutes yeah ukiweza 30 ukiweza 30 kama uko na nguvu so yeah, in, in uh, what precautions can clubs and federation put in place mm-hmm. on matter safety to mm-hmm. to help mitigate injuries Okay, I think uh, they should take protocols mm-hmm. for safe place. Mm-hmm. Like uh, they should always take breaks whenever mm-hmm. they are doing games. Mm-hmm. You know the the water breaks and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And also uh making sure the players are well uh, well prepared mentally. Mm-hmm. Maybe come a, like a rugby game. Mm-hmm. They should uh, know that this is a very physical game mm-hmm. so they should always take their care of themselves mentally, mentally before going there physically yeah ndio mm-hmm. mtu akienda pale you find anajua. out that like, anajua mm-hmm. there is a there is a there is a possibility and as a mia you get yeah. yeah i think that that will help even the the, the player who is uh, maybe having an injury mm-hmm. to avoid uh, the overuse of that injury okay yeah So um uh, how how significant is uh, strength and conditioning uh to physical therapy? Uh it's very significant mm-hmm. because it helps uh the player uh, build muscle muscle bulk muscle mm-hmm. strength mm-hmm. you see the the muscle tone mm-hmm. actually the, the, this is actually the the muscular <laughs> the muscular <laughs> the muscular skeletal that you are talking about okay. it helps a lot with that mm-hmm. and also it help the player with uh, uh learning new patterns of movement mm-hmm you get yeah. like come back hey, if you you know you know the dribbling and and yeah. everything yeah. So the the strength and co- conditioning is very important in, in such way. Okay. Yeah. So so um uh our, our physical uh, you know if if let's say today Amina Mohammed ambassador uh CS Sports uh, <laughs> comes out and say all teams in this country from high school to primary mm-hmm. to college to elite teams mm-hmm. must have a physical therapist. Mm-hmm. Do you think you'll be uh, will be having an understaffed physical therapist? Yes. <laughs> For him? Yeah, because not uh-huh. many, not many people are doing the course. Mm-hmm. It's it's very marketable. Like for example, you find that many hospitals are searching for them mm-hmm. most people don't as i've say, i said before yeah it's an und- underrated course what mm-hmm. was a mangani course ya massage of mm-hmm. which is very it's very wide yeah it's a very yeah. wide course yeah. because you find that we we go and work in very intense places like the icu mm-hmm. you any hospital any hospital with an icu you cannot lack two or three physiotherapists the yeah so it's not about all about massage Yeah. It, yeah. Okay, massage ko and we don't call it massage us because mm-hmm. it's very undermining. Massage ni huko cosmetics. We call it uh, uh, uh manual stimulation. Yeah. 
manual stimulation yeah so. man, manual muscle stimulation mm -hmm. yeah the manual manual yo mikono mm. muscle no yeah. then, then you stimulate, stimulate it. yeah okay. that's that's what we call it mm -hmm. we don't call it massage got yeah so it's understaffed it's understaffed yeah because not many people are doing it or thinking of doing it yeah yeah, uh, viewers, if you're interested in that, I think you need to plug in and do it because uh, sports is growing, uh, medical hospitals and medical field is growing. As you've had, just having an ICU, you need at least two. Yeah. So if it's a big hospital, it's yeah more. Yeah, it's more. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, so how can one be a physiotherapist if we are having viewers or people who are interested to know how what's the process mm -hmm. uh, grades or anything <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. okay yeah first of all you have to have the KCSE certificate mm -hmm. they, 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 they take the learners with the cluster points the mm -hmm. cluster points matter mm -hmm. a lot yeah yeah so me when I used to study because I started I finished college in 2017 so mm -hmm. I was uh, I was admitted in the college in 2014 I I had a, a, a mean grade of B play mm -hmm. so I don't know about now yeah I don't know the cluster points that they are using okay. but I think you should uh, have many points in biology chemistry or mathematics mm -hmm. yeah the sciences, the sciences. The, or physics yeah mm -hmm. yeah nice. english kidogo pale na kiswahili mm -hmm. yeah okay okay so if there is a young lady um i i know by the way viewers she captains a team in akuru swish basketball team which is a team going places watch this space yes and uh, <laughs> apart from that this is a team with a, a great foundation um, Ariel Okal is a great friend of mine. We've had we've have him here at Wima Sports. A great bri brain, great mind, and uh, he's taking basketball in this country to the next level. And we are looking forward to uh, you guys getting into the next tier of the league. Uh, <laughs> personally, my expectations are so high on you guys. So, sisi kama ma fans to na demand. Lazima <laughs> mupande. <laughs> so we won't disappoint you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you could speak to a young lady out there, mm -hmm. who's uh, probably looking up to you or who's probably giving up on life, mm -hmm. and uh, what if you can just speak to a like, young lady out there who's mm -hmm. going through tough times? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're in sports, things mm -hmm. are not working out. Mm -hmm. uh, just give a message to such a person. Okay, uh, I would like to tell them that uh, tough times never last. So don't you ever, ever, ever give up. Whenever you're feeling like giving up, just bow down, kneel, pray. And if there's anyone you can talk to, maybe a friend, uh, a parent, or just anyone you trust, just talk to them, open up, open up and talk to them. But just don't give up. Yeah. Or yeah. do something that makes you happy. Personally, when I'm stressed up, I just take the ball and go to the court. And mm -hmm. I do play and play and play and play. Nikito Kapos in a stress. So whenever you're feeling stressed, just do just a simple thing that you know it's going to make you happy and it's going to shift your mind from the thing that is stressing you to the thing that you really love to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, viewers, you know, I said uh, uh, Okal is a smart person. You see who they have as a captain, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Because this has to be strategic. Seems like, uh, I can imagine you being in a team and Kidogo uh, coach and Asema, let's do this, let's do this, so we need mm -hmm. to do, do this. But in your mind, mm -hmm. there you are a player, yes? But in your mind, you're a physical therapist. You're like, ah, wait, coach, no, no, we are not supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Uh, do you have such moments? Okay, <laughs> if, I, I, if I find out maybe a player is having a hard time doing a certain exercise, mm -hmm. I just go and talk to the coach and mm -hmm. I tell them, uh, so and so is having this problem. Mm -hmm. Please give, give him or her a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I can I cannot allow a player to go uh, and do things that himself is not able to do. Like mm-hmm. you know, basketball is all about passion. Yeah. When you play, you go there to train. You train hard. Mm-hmm. You cannot train if you don't have passion because yeah. it's a hard it's, it's hard. a it's a hard game. Yeah. So can the apple make you make him be apple laps Billy? We shan't have same as you make your No 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 no. Don't do that. If you're being uh if you have an injury or anything like that and you come to me and tell me captain mimi na umo na kifua ama maybe captain mimi na umo na magoti or anything i'll just give you a uh, rest because i know mm-hmm. and the as a physiotherapy i know this person akikimbia sana is mm-hmm. is going to overuse that injury mm-hmm. so it's it's rather a rest mm-hmm. alafu we see about it tomorrow okay yeah okay so uh just to wrap it up uh any shout outs you have or any people you'd like to talk to mm-hmm. any last words you like to say <laughs> yeah to <laughs> anything you'd like to say okay i'd like to shout out to my mom mm-hmm. uh she lives in limuru hi mom i love you so much and my siblings i love them so much i would also love to show tie to my son i mm-hmm. love you tai so much yeah and i miss you a lot also i would like to shout out to my teammates the swish wbp you guys i love you so much never forget about about it and i'm so proud to be your captain yeah and also ariel uh thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to play yeah you're making you're out there giving making our dreams come true so big up Thank you thank you thank you very much viewers indeed we salute you Ariel Local leo nimepata jina kwa mpya amesema Ariel hapa sikujua wewe ni msudi bana I'll be calling you shortly brother You're going to begin with the dynamics stretches okay if you have maybe a back problem you can uh, spread your legs like that not so wide then are not so close then you can hold your arms like that go side by side side by side side by side you can do as uh, maybe come up 20 repetitions or 30 repetitions it all depends with the, how your body is feeling yeah so be a uh, um you can also uh, to stretch the 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 femoris you just have to hold your leg like that and hold 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 you can hold for maybe um 15 seconds then you repeat for like five sets it all depends then you, you change your leg like that then you stretch i'm going to feel the stretch over here After that if you, uh, if you want to stretch now the ham the, the hamstrings going to set it tap like that you press your knee like that pole pole to then you can swing you can swing about like that for 30 seconds I love you can change your leg. You swing like that. Like that. Until you feel kuna stretch kuna stretch huko nyuma. After that you want now to work on your lateral muscles. You hold <coughs> hold your leg like that. Until you feel kuna stretch huko kwa sides. If you're not feeling like that you're not doing anything. So mpaka hold it for some 10 15 seconds then you can repeat for five sets. <coughs> After the maliza mayingu then unaenda kwa hii nyingine. So pia kuna hii nyingine bado kwa back nitazi mix to. <laughs> so you go here center back in front center back front center back front center back 
after you're done with that um, you can hold your waist like that then you can swing swing mpaka you feel ni kama mgongo ina inaachana yani if maybe you feel stiffness kwa mgongo you swing you swing as many times as you can yeah so these are the, the dynamic stretches that you can do hizo unafanya maybe before the jogging they are just to relieve the muscle stiffness the nyukonayo maybe kama uko na joint stiffness <coughs> helps with the muscle bulk pia so uh, those are just simple exercises that you can do before not doing something intense ndio sasa ukianza maybe ku jog ama kukimbia uta feel mwili yako iko iko light and ready to work on the static uh, exercises or the the static stretches they will come after the the game after you play the, the game that is to cool down the body after the long intense workout that you've been through so some of these exercises are you can place your leg like that then you press your knee like that or you can hold you can hold you can just hold it down like that for maybe 15 seconds then unachilia then you do it again like that 15 seconds unachilia after you're done with this leg yes exchange and do the same on this one you press the leg like that 15 seconds you hold like that you can do maybe three sets five sets it all depends with how you're feeling then uh is is the other one you place your arms below the leg like that then you pull like that you feel something over here the hamstring over here and the calf muscles you're going to feel a uh, dull pain but it's not pain it's just a stretch so you're going to Place it like that. Then you hold, 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 hold. This exercise is so good because now you're doing, um, you're stretching the leg and as well as the as the arms. After you are done with this leg, you can place it on the other one. Then you can pull, pull. If you're not feeling the stretch over here, you're not doing anything. Lazima is your stretch up, yeah. After you're done with that one, you can you can stretch like this. You can hold and back again. Hold and back. Now that one is going to work on the on easy muscles and gongo. And when you're done with that, you can place your legs like this. Then you can swing around like that like that 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 you can do maybe 20 times 30 times it all depends with the with the how you're feeling how your body is feeling yeah so those are just simple stretches that you can do to cool down okay so if the patient has an injury that is involving the ankle joint the ankle joint is this area over here if the patient is having an injury and he has healed now he has come for physiotherapy rehab uh, what we do is stretch the, the the muscles surrounding the ankle joint so that the ankle joint can go to its normal function so come over here and uh, you push the leg uh, the foot like that or you can tell the patient and you are kuskuma and you push me yeah, like that again like that like that like that um the times that is supposed to push or how uh, the the times that uh, i am supposed to treat this leg depends on the severity of the injury and how the, the patient is progressing with the healing so you can do for either 
if the if he has the injury on the left side, you do that on the of the left side. Then you can also place your hand like that, and you tell him to pull up like that again, that again, yeah, like that. You're resisting that joint or that movement. You're resisting the movement, which helps a lot with conditioning of these muscles in this one, and also improving the the range of motion of that of that joint because we don't want the joint uh, having um, contractures. Contractures nile the bones are zime deformed na zime shikana. So we don't want that. We want this player to heal and go back to the to the training or the workout that he usually does. So that's the uh, basically the ankle joint. Uh, we got the knee joint. Knee joint you place it like that. You can lift it up like this. Actually, this one has no formula of uh, stretching. This one you just move it like that. You flex it and extend it. Flex, extend, flex, extend, extend, flex, extend until you feel the joint is fully moving. Like there's no restriction on that joint. Okay? What you will do with the stretching, you're going to stretch these muscles over here. From the calf muscles to the hamstrings, you lift the leg like that. And then you place your arm like this and then you, you push it down like that. Until the patient can feel kuna stretcher. That's a stretch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what we do. We are stretching these muscles. Now when you want to stretch these ones, we fold it like that and then we push it like that and then we tell the patient to push back the leg. Ten. This patient is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when you do that, you are acting on these muscles, these ones. So uh, whenever you want to stretch these and these and these and the ankle joints, that's basically what we do, depending on the injuries. The, these exercises, nimingi sana, there are so many. It all depends with where the injury is. And uh, for each injury, kuna zile mazoezi tunafanya, na zile exercises tunafanya for your injury. You don't do all exercises too. To the same injury, yeah. So um, that's basically it. If you're having a problem with the with the back, uh, we fold them together like that. Then, then you tell the patient to hold the the knees. Then you push, you push now over and you tell the patient to to pull the knees together. Burut kabisa. Touching like that. One, two, three, four, five. You can do as many times as possible. Mpaka uskie, kwangongo, uko tu sawa. Alright, so the other one we do have a line on your stomach. It's basically the same thing we were doing when he was looking up. When you pull like that, this one is stretching the, the femoris muscles. So you pull like that. While you're doing this, you're working on those muscles plus the back. So you can do that maybe five times. This one, the patient cannot be able to do alone. So we lazima kwena mtu wakumsaidia. You do on this leg and on that leg. Then you can tell the patient to lift it up for himself. Yes, like that. As you can see, the patient is uh, is normal. He's doing it. So this is just a simple process of healing. These exercises we do to patients who have injuries or deformities or disease, yeah.